So today I will show you in our demo how a sustainability leader at a large petrochemical manufacturer uses the application to track progress against emissions reduction goals and partners with people like plant managers, product managers, and engineering leaders to identify, prioritize, and execute, and then verify emissions reductions projects. As a corporate sustainability manager, when I log into the application, I can track my organization's overall sustainability KPIs, such as energy intensity, scope one emissions, and non-GHD emissions. These are things such as waste generation and water usage across all of my facilities. It's my responsibility to drive emissions improvement initiatives across our multitude of facilities. So I need to understand quickly and in real time how the company is performing and which facilities require attention. So as I scroll down the home page, the map view is configurable and can be used to visualize how each facility measures up against all of our targets and all of our other facilities. And in the facility benchmarks view, I can see how those are performing. Here I observe that the Stafford plant has the highest energy consumption intensity and scope one GHG emission intensity. And so I wanna click through into the facility to investigate what's going on. So I can toggle any of those information and then see this red dot, which indicates the Stafford plant has these issues and do more investigation on the plant detail page. The plant's energy intensity appears to be above target and requires further investigation. So seeing this, I now want to find the source of the high energy and emissions intensity. This is greatly accelerated using the application's AI-driven insights, which I start to see in the process flow diagram below. The red indicators signify that C3 AI energy management alerts have been raised recently, and then green signifies that the equipment's energy performance is within expectation. Here are the largest energy consumers in the ethylene process, the steam cracking furnaces, and the utility boiler in the top left have been modeled. But just as with C3 AI reliability, energy management is asset agnostic, so we could just as easily deploy it on any of these other asset classes like the steam turbine. So now I want to see what's going on with the red indicator equipment, that is the Furnace 1. So I can dive into my equipment overview page for Furnace 1. Here I see several KPI plots and aggregated statistics for the last 12 months, and I can quickly assess whether this piece of equipment is performing efficiently or if it requires maintenance by analyzing the AI-driven gap to expected and gap to ideal. Each equipment-specific machine learning model predicts the gap to expected performance metrics based on user configurable training data. So this might be data which my organization has selected as the benchmark or baseline for my emissions goals, or it could be when the equipment was known to be highly efficient. Gap to ideal is a related concept which uses ML modeling to predict the best potential efficiency performance each furnace could achieve. As an engineering leader, I can analyze the gap to ideal to get a view of whether the furnace may be underperforming relative to its peers. In the chart, I see that furnace one has an actual energy efficiency which tracked relatively closely to the AI expected performance until about two months ago, when the actual efficiency starts to drop below the AI expectation. I also see that the gap to expected, which is plotted as the orange dotted line, mm-hmm. it increases from near 0% gap to a gap of over 10% right around the time of the alert. So I want to click into this alert and see what's going on. In the side panel for the alert, I see where the alert threshold was met, and I can also set the alert priority myself or take the automated alert priority that was assigned for it, and I can add commentary or close the alert if I think it's irrelevant. However, if I want to understand deeper context about the alert, I can click View Details and go into an analysis mode for all of the measurements related to this alert. Here, I can investigate equipment level metrics, such as the stack temperature, for this furnace, and I can plot the actual expected and ideal values. This enables me to further investigate what changed when the gap to expected started to increase by plotting machine learning model feature importance and the raw sensor measurement data. Plotting each feature importance for this specific furnace, I noticed that the furnace stack temperature feature changed dramatically just before the alert was generated. And seeing this, I can trigger additional workflows to start a work order or add commentary for the rest of my team to collaborate on this. So I go back into my alert view where I can add comments, tag other users and colleagues, or create a work order via integration with my work order systems. 
In summary, we've now seen how this large petrochemical company can manage their energy efficiency and sustainability goals in a single application, identify when and how their equipment are no longer meeting performance expectations, and trigger action to address the issues to get back on track.